All right, I'm gonna talk you through the process behind the running pre punch side flip to the 180 stick. That was my ender in my Berlingo part. So this spot is at a schoolyard in Stockholm um, and there's like quite a big area where we usually train. So I just basically thought, all right, let me find the two biggest things I could do at this spot and try to get it in a line. Yeah. Basically like the running pre is is big, right? But as long as you have a good run up you will you will get it, you know? But then you know the 180 was the issue for me. Clearly. <laughs> like when I look at the attempts I can tell from the start that something is not right with my 180 technique. Which you know it is good, like I had to force myself to kind of look at my 180 a bit closer and be like, what am I doing wrong? But I kind of felt like when I watched the footage, like I didn't really have the base technique for for like a good 180. Like I just wasn't getting the height. It's harder to change something that you've done a certain way for a long time. So whenever I watched the footage, like in between yeah, yeah, yeah. the attempts, I'm like, what am I doing? Like what is going on here? I just need to fix that, and this will be done in a session. You know, it, it's not a long line. It was like what five to ten seconds. But like I said, because it's too like almost max power challenges in there um, it takes a lot of effort so like in between every attempt I had to sit down and like have a bottle of water or shit <laughs> I like that type of challenge it's like I really do enjoy when it feels like you have to use maximum effort but at the same time if you don't get it within the first like 10 tries you're gonna be tired you know so that's why I had to head back for this five separate times I think It's good that I tried to commit as much as I could, but it's also like, if you don't have the distance, it's not gonna work, is it? So. This is one of those challenges, which is, it's not dangerously cool. Like it's not, you're not going over a drop and you're not doing any crazy flip and you're not gonna magically end up on your head. It's basically, straight up physical, but sometimes that can be, you know, it can take longer to get, you know, if it's something very mental, you know, that's way oh, harder yeah, to do, obviously, but once you kind of get to the part where you actually commit, I feel like it might be over quickly, but if it's straight up physical and still pushing your limits, it might just take a lot more of attempts. these last two sessions I had Kevin on the camera and he was also such a big support to me like because he knows stuff like 180s and he can really look at something because he's you know he's a coach he can look at something and go you should maybe just change this a little bit and it will probably work better and then you do that and it actually works last session was during the weekdays and you know this is at a schoolyard so that was a bit stressful like with the kids running around and the teachers like giving me a bad eye like what the fuck are these guys doing then <laughs> yeah bro oh yeah so my motor shirt was too big so like when I was trying to spot the landing it just covered my eyes so I put on like 
She's a white shirt and I said, we could write motors on it so I can still represent. <laughs> I didn't write motors on it. This piece cuz you ain't even had to put it on him like that. He got to represent every time my boy. S1W Terminator X public enemy the whole mass <laughs> Yeah, and then it worked out. Finally, <laughs> if you watch the footage, the landing looks shitty. Um, so of course I would have loved to perfect it, but at the same time I'm kind of happy it looked like that. You know, like I enjoy a battle, because that means that I was really pushing myself. So like if you do end up getting the challenge that you worked very hard for and put down so many hours and attempts and shit, that one jump is going to mean so much more to you than a lot of other stuff than you got within three attempts. Also, thank you to everyone who helped me film and stuff because this is not within the first three attempts. Like, people are standing there with their camera for like hours, you know? <laughs> so I'm fucking grateful for that too. <laughs>